Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. As usual, please like and subscribe if you like the content. I also review the rest of the Andor series in previous videos if you want to check those out. I've reviewed the Book of Boba Fett, The Mandalorian, as well as a Star Wars sequel remake if you want to check that out. And let's get into this. So I did watch this show last night and I got, had kind of a, something dawned on me that actually this show, I think this show is the worst show that Disney has produced since they bought this IP. I'm going to explain that later on in this video, but I want to have a lead up to that and explain sort of what went on in this episode uh, before I do that. So first, we start off with the security corp leader who was fired looking all sad at the sun. And you're kind of like, okay, I I'm not sure why I'm invested emotionally in this character. And and it, it, they're trying to force you almost to like really care, but it's it's hard to really care when you knew his character for like five minutes. And he was basically just a guy after Andor. And uh, so to sympathize with him now, it, it just doesn't make much sense. It's kind of like, okay, this is this guy. But at this point, the way they're presenting him, it's really obvious he's going to join the Rebellion. They're laying the foreshadowing on very, very thick. And then his mom serves him some crunch berries with blue milk, which was just, oh, man. And she's overbearing and giving him crap about his posture and just how he presents himself in general. And she's basically a jerk to him. And... I don't know, I mean, okay, and, and so it's just this drawn-out scene of them talking, and you're, what are you going to do for work now, and what are you doing, and you you know, you, know, you have no plan, and blah, 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 you know, because he got fired, and she's just, so he lives with his mom, I guess, and he's a grown man, I, that part, I don't get either, but whatever, <laughs> it's just, I think they're just trying to force our modern society to relate to these characters, like I guess they want. I guess there's more men now that are grown-ups that are living with their moms, and so they're hoping that they identify with this situation, with this overbearing mother. I, I don't know. It's it's corny. It it's, it's doesn't feel like Star Wars. It feels like, again, a generic drama show. I've said this over and over and over. Then we get another scene of of chastising. There's, there's just there's a lot of um, negativity in this show. All the characters are negative. Everybody's grumpy. Everybody's depressed. There's no jokes or fun or anyone with a positive attitude. And it's, it, it, we're getting into like close to hour three now. And it's, it's just getting to become just a depressing bummy show. It doesn't feel like Star Wars. And so we get this scene of, of that group of rebels, I guess, that Andor's trying to help are just giving him grief over everything. And they start by the one guy steals his pack while he's sleeping and he's he took everything out of it and he's analyzing it, asking him questions and this and that. And, and you know, I, I remember a time later in the Star Wars timeline here and the rebellion was way stronger and yet they were more welcoming to new people. When Han came along, they were they were a full-fledged operation, military operation. You know, they were a, 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 a an actual considerable threat to the empire they had ships they had all the stuff they weren't just a bunch of ragtag people with a few blasters on a random planet and even then they they embraced han han was kind of a jerk to them but they embraced him because they needed him they, they were trying to make get things done and they knew he was somebody who could get things done particularly based on what happened in a new hope and then you know leia's upset because he's gonna leave because they could use him and now you're in, watching this in the situation with these ragtag group of people and here's this guy who's pretty capable and they're just being jerks to him the whole show it's it's bizarre it's weird it's like they're doing everything they can to make him leave meanwhile they're trying they're supposed to be trying to foment a plan to make a strike against an empire it's, it's i don't know it's some some sort of heist i guess to steal a bunch of crap from the empire but no we're just gonna just gonna just chastise this guy and just be angry with him constantly and, and zero positivity uh, uh, the only positive character and he's semi-positive is the is the young kid or whatever the teenage kid but it's just generic drama and then they cut to mon mothma's family issues angsty teenage daughter yay that's that's what they're showing us they're showing us scenes of mon mothma her husband and her daughter and mon mothma and her daughter are arguing and that's literally it over stupid crap that doesn't matter the scene it totally could have been gone you didn't even need it. it 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 didn't further the plot it did nothing it was just to show that Mon Moth is, Mothma is a real person who has real problems. Yeah, we get that. This is Star Wars. What's going on with the Star War? Like, this scene was so cringy. And it's funny because I'm watching that scene. My daughter walked in during this scene and immediately was like, what are you watching? And my daughter's going to be 13 in 
a month. So she, <laughs> so here she's watching this angsty teenager arguing with her mom. She walks in. It's, it's very, very funny. And she's, she goes, what are you watching? And I go, oh, Star Wars uh, and or this new show or whatever. And she goes, oh, Star Wars? This doesn't look like Star Wars. That's her, exactly what she said. I went, exactly. It doesn't. It, it, and when she says look like Star Wars, she means it isn't like sound or look or it, you're watching it. And you don't, it it's just a generic show. It's getting worse by the second. I've I've tried to remain positive, but this show is just is just tanking. Like the, nothing is happening. It's just it's getting bad now. And then we get back to Andor getting chastised by people he's trying to help again. You're starting to think, wow, the early rebellion is just full of assholes. Like everyone's a, an asshole. Everybody, even the main guy who's working with Mon Mothma, Looter or whatever his name is, he's he's kind of a dick too. Everybody is. How compelling. And then the rebels are incompetent, dumb. They don't know what they're doing. There's a scene where Andor is like, how are you planning on taking the whatever craft it is out of there that has what they want to steal? And they're like, oh, we were just going to take it. And he's like, do you know if you can even move it? Like, do you know if they have it locked? Do you... They don't know anything. They're dumb. And yet they just chastise this guy who actually is asking the right questions about their stupid plan. Their whole plan to steal the Imperial craft is stupid. So this now makes the main character who's trying to get money from Mothma to support these guys to do these jobs makes him look like an idiot because he hired these idiots that don't know what they're doing and then finally brought in Andor who seems to know what he's doing. So if this is just, this is the early rebellion, guys. Just a bunch of idiots who don't have any idea what they're doing and they chastise the only person that does. It's just, it's just, it's so bad. And then we see Imperial guys, the guys they're going to steal from, and you get the generic angry officer guy and he's yelling at everybody there's no depth to anything he's saying again you go back to the original films and it's just it's terrible dialogue and writing and, and in the original films there's some cringe dialogue but at least at least it felt like there was something going on and it, there was there was stakes and excitement and this is just it's just so generic and then we're back to the ragtag rebels talking about talking down to andor again the whole episode who now has established he knows more than them but keep chastising him sigh and then they're marching to, they're marching to train themselves to look like imperials so they can pretend to, to to be them i guess is one of their plans and it's like we don't need a whole scene showing and showing the guy how to show andor how to walk like an imperial officer like this is so slow and boring and generic then there's then it just gets into a bunch of useless scenes with garbage dialogue, and then a Tie Fighter sees the rebels, and they're just left alone. So the Tie Fighter, so they, they, the Tie Fighter comes flying out. They're all like, "Oh no, no, cover up the guns!" And they cover up the guns that they have sitting on the table with a cloth, and then the Tie Fighter flies over them, and then that's it. Like I fully expected. Okay, now the em- the Empire knows they're there. They're going to come after them now. Who are you? Who are you? What are you doing here? Why are you near one of our bases? They never do. They never do. That, that's not the Empire. They wouldn't just allow some random group of people to be living, you know, two miles from their headquarters or base of this planet and not go over there and find out who they are and wonder what they're doing there, living in the forest. Like, it's just it's stupid. It's just not, this is garbage. It makes no sense. And then we get another pointless scene with the resting bitch face chick with the blonde hair. And at the end of it, which is another completely pointless scene. She's looking through, trying to find, you know, stuff to, you know, further her career or whatever and archives or something and whatever. And at the end of the scene, she takes drugs, like to get high. And she tells the other guy, yeah, we should take two, eh? And he's like, yeah. Oh, awesome. So the Empire people are, take admirals and stuff, they just, they take drugs and stuff. Really needed to see that. That's really Star Wars. Really important that we see them take drugs in Star Wars. Awesome. Then the contrived conflict again between Andor and Buddy to create shallow tension. The one main guy, and they have another stupid conflict and argument to, to, you know, and there's no tension because at the end of the day, they're all idiots except for Andor. If he wanted to, he could grab his blaster and just blow them all up anyway. So what is the point of all this stupidness? Then more pointless scenes, more pointless dialogue scenes, nothing but talking and not no one doing anything. And the end. And that's the end of the episode. And, and still nothing has actually happened. Almost three hours and Andor has, has agreed to do a job on an Imperial site. That's literally all that's happened. And there's there's people angry at each other. That's literally the entire show so far. It's just, it's junk. It's, it's the, what they did was they wrote something that could have been done probably in four or five episodes and are dragging it into 12. But the problem with that is, is now they've dragged it on so long, they're going to lose, start losing interest now. Now, I tweeted yesterday that this is the worst 
Star Wars show that Disney has produced. This is the worst. And people are going to be surprised by that. But I'm going to explain now. The reason, and I just it just dawned on me last night when I was watching this Andor show, that it is, it's the worst. And the reason is this. The Book of Boba Fett and Mando and all the others suck. They have they create continuity issues. That they mess up the lore. They are cringy. It's full of cameos, and they're bad. But but the people who produce those shows and Kenobi is god awful. But 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 even in Kenobi, the people that produce those shows at least tried to make them feel like a Star Wars project. When you're watching them, they, they attempt at some humor. They attempt to create stakes that 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 are very Star Wars-esque. They mess up the individual characters. Like, Boba Fett wasn't Boba Fett. But the show of Book of Boba Fett felt Star Wars-y. And even then, there's some pacing issues in these shows as well. However, at least... And they're bad. They're awful. But the people making them did attempt to make them feel like it was in the Star Wars universe. The way it was written, the action scenes, the way things were done. They made so many mistakes, but they tried. At least they tried. This, I mean, this isn't just poorly written generic garbage. It's trying as hard as it can be to be anything but Star Wars. It's it's just the most generic, regular drama TV show and in fact, if it was, if you were to compare it to, like, let's say this was written the same way it's written and it was a cop show, right? Because it's a heist they're trying to do and all this stuff. Law and Order would put this to shame, right? So so it's, it's, it's not only a generic show, drama show, it would be bad in comparison to other generic drama shows. It would be terrible. And that's why it's worse. They didn't even try to make it feel like Star Wars at all. So I'll take... I'll give those other people credit. At least they tried. They failed and it was awful and dumb and stupid. And even the sequels, I think they tried to make them feel like Star Wars. Like The Rise of Skywalker, if you watch it as a a standalone movie, feels like a Star Wars movie. It's absolute garbage in terms of what they did with the lore and the story and everything else. But they tried to make it feel like Star Wars. This isn't Star Wars. This is something else, which to me makes it the worst Star Wars named thing that Disney has produced probably ever. This is awful. It's a terrible show. I don't know that I'm going to be able to keep watching this. I think I might be done because this is like, I got through two episodes of book of Boba Fett. It's, I don't know. Kids maybe like it or people. It was awful. I couldn't do it. I was like, this is total garbage. This is a terrible show. I'm very disappointed. And I gave it the benefit of the doubt. I thought it was going to be okay, but it just absolutely sucks. Anyways, thanks for watching. Have a good day.